Hello everyone on the crypto channel number one, where we covering up all the most greatest, biggest, most resonant news about the crypto world and economy, about finance. So nice to see you there, nice to have you there. Today we are talking about flagship ETF hit record high, best against KT Woods. So we're gonna talk about Binance and lost custody marshes and courage. And we're gonna talk about Bitcoin and US government in the crypto world. So watch it to the end because it's really interesting. Also we gonna talk in how it can influence on Bitcoin and crypto market price. So watch it to the end and also drop a like button. Thank you so much. So let's get started. It says that short sellers have ramped up bets against Katy Woods flagship ARK Innovation Fund as believe in its strategy shows signs of faltering. So, some investors that have been waiting in 2021 for the fund to repeat its success in 2020 have lost faith and pulled out, said Told Rosenbluth, head of ETF and Mutual Fund Research at CFRA. In 2020, the ARC fund delivered returns for investors of nearly 150% helping to make it and would some of the biggest names in United States fund management. So in the opening month of this year, betting against the RK fund was painful. Short sellers were down $39 million in mark to market losses or 2.26% from January to June, said Yuhor Dusanivsky, head of predictive analytics at S3 Partners. But a sharp reversal in their fortunes now means ARKK shorts are up $137 million, or 7.8% so far this year. So, with the RK key short trade becoming profitable, we saw $369 million of additional short selling over the last 30 days. Dusanivsky said, Ark declined the comment. The comment. So, it recorded its largest monthly outflow of net money for the year in July as the fund dominated by holdings in Tesla, Roku, the television streaming platform, Teladoc, a digital healthcare service, Shopify, an e-commerce platform for small businesses, and Zoom declines 8.2%. It recorded net outflows of $944 million last month, according to ETF.com. And the value of the fund is down more than 1% in 2020. So, some investors believe there is no further upside in the tech sector, as it is expensive, maybe in bubble territory, and other parts of the US economy are likely to do better as the world re reopens. So, I think it's here is the chart of RAKK versus one world total world stock. So one world world stock we have in the blue color and RAKK in pink color. So we see that one world is obviously located a little bit higher. So However, Fuhrer said the increased interest in short selling could be misguided 
going short is a risky trade and the likelihood of making a lot of money is very small. So it's actually interesting. And we can see that these news are all influence on the Bitcoin price, on the crypto market price. So let's move on. Also drop a like button, thank you so much. So Binance win down Hong Kong derivatives trading in switch to proactive compliance state. So existing Hong Kong account holders have 90 days to close their open position the exchange announced Friday. Earlier in the day, CEO Shabzheng Zhao said in tweet that the exchange would take a more proactive approach to compliance. So Rao responded to this pressure last month in an opera letter in which he described regulatory compliance as a journey, likening its development to those of the automobile industry where laws and guidelines were developed along the way. The Binance chief subsequently announced that a new CEO was being sought with a strong regulatory background and as his replacement. So if you guys someone from Japan, mm, so it's be useful for you. So let's continue. It says that Binance Smart Chain beats the term by some metrics thanks to latest gamify craze. It wasn't long ago when every public blockchain attempted to challenge a term's dominance in the sizzling decentralized finance sector. After Ethereum based video game XC Infinity became an instant success, blockchains have blossomed in the $100 billion gaming industry. $100 billion gaming industry. This is huge. So, in the latest episode of the blockchain competition, just like what happened with DeFi, Decentralized Finance Binance Smart Chain, the public blockchain supported by Binance, the world's biggest centralized crypto exchange by trending volume, surprised the Ethereum blockchain in daily transaction again. So here we have the Binance Smart Chain daily transaction chart. Here we have Ethereum daily transaction charts. So, decentralized finance and game finance are growing. Uh, and the series of tweets reflected Zhao's excitement about crypto gaming growth on BCC as someone who has rarely acknowledged B. As the ambition to challenge Ethereum. On the surface, the keyword is gaming, but at the core of finance is what matters to the most blockchain. So, what interesting, guys, because uh, you know, you playing games can earn the crypto, can earn the real money. So, and this is new era, new time, and we have uh, such a great opportunities. Mm, let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, drop a like button. Thank you so much. Also, hit subscribe. And, you know, similar to how you would value an artwork, for example, like that piece of artwork, what is the economic output that it's contributing towards society or any particular economy, Karim said. It can't be compared in the same way as a decentralized finance lending protocol or bank or something like that. It is 
producing cultural value. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's really actually producing cultural value. So, speaking about perfect match to most people in crypto, the combination of gaming and crypto seems like a perfect marriage. Crypto has been looking for a mass market use case. Andrew Du, an executive and quantitative trading firm, efficient frontier to desk. So gaming is a sector that people have been hyping up for a long time. So guys, click on the screen right now on the video new screen slide now and there will be part two and there will will be continue thank you so much so see you in the next video have a nice day